Hey everybody, this is my most recent TJ Maxx haul. I think I spent about 80 bucks on these five fragrances. I've got three that are from Clone Houses, two from Milestone, which I have heard is pretty much the same company as the Clone House Armoth. And then this one is from the Clone Company Emperor, E-M-P-E-R. And then these two fragrances are Murata fragrances, which as far as I know, Murata is not a clone dupe house. Murata, I think, is all originals, and I think they will even make um, specific fragrances, like personalize them. It's what their website says, and I've mentioned that in other videos before, too. So I'll start out with the three that are marketed for unisex starting out with the two by Milestone, the Milestone Clone House. Um, the first one, nice bottle, I think it's quite pretty, um, is called Velvet Collection Ombre Sun. Ombre is an A-M-B-R-E sun, and it is a dupe of the Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Collection um, Velvet Amber Sun. So almost identical names even, and I've never smelled the original, but I've looked on Fragrantica, and it seems like the bottle looks pretty much like this, and so it's got like the velvet on the cap for the velvet collection. By the way, that's also there, the symbol for the milestone fragrances there. Um, this is heavy. I've heard other people comment on the nice atomizers on the milestone fragrances and I'm not going to spray it right now because I've sprayed so much but this this does spray really nicely mm -hmm. just smelling this right now I can tell you right off the bat this is almost like a boozy ambery vanilla when you just smell um, the cat but the notes that I found and I heard another youtuber say this appear to be the same exact notes that are listed on Fragrantica for the original, the Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Amber Sun. So he said it seemed like whatever site copied and pasted. Like I said, it could be hard to find the notes for these clones. And I, I agree with him, and I think that is also what I found. But I'm just going to read what's listed. And so, um, and it's the same as the original that's listed, so... The top notes, oh, well, this is considered, or the original is considered an oriental woody. The top notes are elangeling, vanilla, labdanum, I can never say that easily, bergamot. Mid notes are sandalwood, smoke, coriander, pepper, and base notes of amberwood, olibanum, patchouli, agarwood, slash, agar, I'm sorry, Haggerwood slash oud, benzoin, cinnamon, myrrh, apopanix, and tonka bean. And I have heard some people say that this is supposed to be one of the best from the Velvet Collection line. If you've heard similar or if you've smelt others from that line, whether the original or out of the clone house, please comment and let us know. Especially if you've smelled both, the original and the milestone or clone version. Um, and also people compare the original to... Um, a sweeter version of Tom Ford Amber Absolute, if you've smelt that. I, several people mention that one and say that uh, the Dolce & Gabbana one was a more unisex and more sweet version of that. This, just as I heard someone else say, I totally agree, is like a dry amber and it does have, it goes a little bit animalic. When you first smell it, these notes make sense for the original, seem to make sense for this as well. It, I don't know why it's boozy, but initially it's like a boozy, sweet, warm, ambery vanilla. And it's really nice. It's intriguing. It smells quality. Um, probably with its warmth and spiciness, it would be better in cooler, cold weather. However, I think you can pull this off in warm weather if you're somewhere outdoorsy or in the evening. And when I say outdoorsy, I feel like it could go either way. Uh, like, I live in the Carolinas, so I associate certain things with my environment. I say outdoorsy because I'm out in the woods or hiking in the mountains or going to the beach. You know, I do all those things quite often. But at the same time, I feel like this could be for a more um, dressy occasion too just because it is like that spicy, warm, sweet, 
and then it's got the seriousness of the the, the smoky type of herbal things. I definitely smell like a myrrh smoky smell out of this. Like it starts off with that warm spicy sweetness or almost boozy sweetness. But then after this has dried down, at least with on my body chemistry, and this is definitely unisex, y'all. I totally agree. I mean, obviously, like sweet stuff and then like smoky, obviously, is easily unisex. <clears throat> this turns almost like incense on me. And after it dried down, the first thing that came to my mind was um, the dry down of. Before I say this, don't let this put you off because they're not... They're not the same fragrances. It's just something about the dry down is the old school Revlon Sierra. Now there's different versions of the Sierra. I happen to have the one that is more incense-y and this definitely dries down and ends up smelling just like those traditional, what is the name of those incense? I say it in my review for this. It's like the white, blue and red incense packs. Uh-oh, I froze. The point is, this has really strong incense. Although this has raspberry note also, and this does not have that. I need to pause this because I think I need to plug my phone in. And I've already done this video like three times because my daughter's been walking around the house. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, this is one... Right now, okay, I'm in South Carolina, and it's the very end of August, so... I'm smelling this in this warmer time of year, and I really look forward to seeing how this smells in the cool and cold weather. Probably really nice in fall with that smoky myrrh um, dry down. If you don't like the myrrh, incense, earthy types, very smoky smell, um, then you won't like this. If you do like smokiness, this definitely goes smoky and dry. The amber is very dry, a bit animalic, as is this stuff, definitely. But the original, the original smell of it is just like that boozy vanilla amber. So I feel like this would definitely, it would have a lot to do with people's body chemistry, but it's still ultimately going to be starting out sweet and uh, sweet and dry and ending smoky and earthy and incense and dry. It's intriguing um, and it smells quality. Now, when you first spray this, it's pretty strong, but then I feel like it it's not very loud, but it it does linger for sure. I mean, I could smell it the next day on things that I sprayed it on. I always sample stuff like spraying different jackets and shirts and and myself. So I could smell it the next day, but I would imagine that the original was probably much stronger. But this isn't going to just disappear, especially with the kind of notes that are in it. So yeah, I think this is definitely worth having for men or women. Um, it's marketed unisex and it is unisex. Okay, the next one by Milestone that is marketed unisex as well is this Forever Paradise Milestone Perfumes. And these are all like Middle Eastern, UAE, right? So the original of this is supposed to be the Vetiver Paradise by Carolina Herrera. And I know in many of my videos, I say Carolina. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. That's just what's stuck in my head because I live in the Carolinas, but I know her name is Carolina. Um, so this is supposed to be after Vetiver Paradise and I have not smelled the original of that, as I said, but it, you know, their, their packaging seems to match what they're cloning pretty well. This also sprays really nicely. It's nice and heavy. I like these heavy bottles. Um, it's nice, I think. I really like having this stuff in my collection. Um, and I like the packaging, like I said. So, 
as I said, it can be really hard finding the exact notes for these clone houses, but what I found and what I will list is just as accurate as, as I can be, what I list for the video. Please, if you have better information, feel free to correct anything or add anything in the comments section. So, uh, the original is supposed to be a woody, spicy fragrance, and the notes I found for this, top notes of citruses, mandarin, orange, and bergamot, heart of jasmine, base of cypress, pine tree, and laurels. I really like this. This is, this is, um... Out of all of these, this is the loudest. I can say that. Okay, the original Vetiver Paradise, as listed on Fragrantica, has top notes of grapefruit, bergamot, pink pepper, middle notes of neroli, cardamom, nutmeg, and base notes of vetiver and woody notes. Now, I saw people comment on Fragrantica that this is marketed unisex, but leaned more masculine. This one, however, I feel is unisex, but if anything, leans more feminine. And as I look at the note comparison, um, and when I see the original has the cardamom with the nutmeg and vetiver and woody notes, even just listening to that sound together sounds more masculine leaning to me, especially than with that peppery citrus. I would love to smell it. It, it seems like it would smell really good. This, however, definitely, you know, it has the I found listed as a heart note of jasmine, and I feel like maybe that's what's making this one lean more feminine. This definitely is like, it has a woody spiciness to it as well though. So, it, I mean, it's unisex. I really like this one. As I said, out of all the five that I got, this is the loud, uh, loudest, and this probably has the best longevity out of all of these, especially the longevity with still having like some oomph, like loudness to it. I feel like this is bold and sexy. I immediately, when I smelled this one, thought 80s because 80s was so much louder in their fragrances. I'm 46, I'll be 47 in October. So, you know, I definitely have great memory of 80s fragrances and getting into my aunt's uh, fragrances in the 80s. Yeah, a man can definitely rock this and a woman can definitely rock this. But to me, this is more, leans more feminine. Doesn't mean I wouldn't want to smell it on a man, because I would. But just smelling this right off the bat, I would say more feminine, but not, not unisex. So, so yeah, woody, spicy, bright. Um, I happen to love cypress. I like pine too and laurels, which, you know, I looked up because laurels could it apparently can be versatile, the note of laurel. Um, so yeah, spicy, woody, but bright. And this one in particular has the floral note also. But mostly like citrusy and like woody though. But yeah, mostly that. I really love cypress and I get that type of a smell in here. I think this is sexy fragrance. It's sexy like in your face. It's it's a, not a shy fragrance. It's, um, it's not subtle in my opinion. It's not the loudest thing ever, but it's, this is the loudest out of these. And I like that. Sometimes I really like that. <laughs> so, all right, next uh, marketed unisex is this opera. And it doesn't say it on here, but when I look it up, it says by, by the maker of um, Emperor, which if you look up Emperor, apparently Emperor is also a clone house. This very clearly, is and very obviously is a clone of Zerzhov opera and I have never smelled that one either but after smelling this I really really want to smell it this is very intriguing marketed unisex it's definitely unisex because it's just intriguing it's a very different I like this I even if you I feel like if you don't like this you will still want to keep smelling it because it's interesting 
This is another one that it smells good now, especially, um, you know, in this warmer weather at nighttime. Um, this is more nighttime, especially with warmer weather, but I feel like I can't wait. I love warm weather. I really hate the cold, but as far as smelling this fragrance, I can't wait. I look forward to smelling this in the cool and cold weather because I feel like it will really show out in that weather. So right off the bat, before I read the notes, I get a grape vibe, vibe off this. And I like that. Um, I don't get it very often, but I definitely get like a grapey smell initially. And I really like that. So the notes that I found for this, and I, the, I found the notes listed for this particular, not the original, but this by Emperor, Opera by Emperor, E-M-P-E-R, um, says... Well, first of all, they describe it as extravagant and having a depth that can't be ignored. And I don't see this as easily ignored. This is different. I mean, people will notice you wearing this because it doesn't smell typical. Um, and by the way, you know, this does smell like quality and like has that niche vibe to it. And I just wanted to, I don't know if I said that earlier. This is very interesting. So uh, they have listed on the site perfumoabsolu.com, P-A-R-F-U-M-O-A-B-S-O-L-U.com. P -A -R -F -U -M -O -A -B -S -O -L -U .com. Top note, Turkish rose, mid, leather, amber, alang alang, nutmeg, base, patchouli, vanilla, and Haitian vetiver. Uh, all those together are so nice, and I definitely get that. I get the sweet vanilla and vetiver and that depth of like the patchouli. Although it's not patchouli heavy, it's more vetiver -y and sweet vetiver because the vanilla and vetiver and definitely you get the leather and amber. Uh, Ilingling can be very screechy in my opinion, but it's just enough of it in here. It's not overbearing. Um, and the nutmeg, something about this, even though it isn't gourmand, seems tasty. <laughs> like I can see like the nutmeg, but it also has that grapey vibe. And the rose is not prominent to me. Like if anything, the rose would be underneath, even though it's a, it says top note. To me, it would be in there underneath, like the or blended in with the leather and amber. You definitely get the leather. The leather is, is here. Um, so the notes on Fragrantica for the Zerzhov Zer opera. Very, very similar, but more notes listed. And they have fruits and Turkish rose. And then alang alang, nutmeg, amber, leather. And then in the base, vanilla, patchouli, musk, Virginia cedar, and Haitian vetiver. So, again, if you have smelled the original, please talk to us about it in the comments. And if you've tried this, whether it's in the store or you bought it, um, what do you think about it? I, this is kind of like have to keep going back to this and like keep smelling it more, even when I've sprayed it on myself. I really like it, and I'm sure that this probably shines best in the cold weather. Although I like it now even, but I can imagine it in the cool and cold air. I really like that, that grapey type smell that I'm getting right off the bat. I don't know how, I know that, I think, I think it's tuberose that can sometimes like be grapey. Am I right? But that's not in here. So I don't know what's giving it that. I don't know, but I, I get those notes. I get that vanilla vetiver, the, the leathery. Maybe it's the, the actual rose blended with these things that's not coming off as rose. It's somehow coming off as, you know what? The notes that I found listed for this don't include fruit, but fruity notes are in the top notes for the original uh, Zerzhov opera. 
This to me has fruity notes too, obviously, because I'm talking about getting a great vibe. And maybe it's just not listed on that perfumoabsolute.com. But it has the grapey fruitiness to it. I bet that fruit notes are in fact in this and it's just not listed on that site because the original has it. So yeah, this is interesting. This is, it's not something that's to be worn subtly because it's not subtle, it's unique smelling. I mean, you can wear it, you could rock it anywhere <laughs> you want to in any outfit, but it's different and it's intriguing and I like it. I can imagine it on a man too. Yeah, I mean, I would be just as intrigued regardless of who was wearing it. And I like that fruity grapiness to it. Okay, so that's that. Now, moving on to the Murata fragrances. Now, as far as I know, Murata is not a dupe clone house. I've mentioned Murata before in some of my other videos, and I'm looking at my screen on my computer now. If you go to MuratoPerfume.com, you'll see what I'm looking at, and it says they've been around for over 40 years with extensive experience in perfumery in the Middle East, Far East, and the Gulf. It's They're located in Istanbul, and um, it says... Uh, Says with our experience in the Indonesian, Indian, and Thailandian our oud markets, we offer our clients high quality synthetic and natural agarwood and chips. Um, it goes on. It says that they not only provide product um, as ready products, but also customized fragrances composed based on the personal preferences of the client. It says that they say they're their uh, fragrances are diverse and range and they're high end, they say, and alcohol free oil and spray fragrances. So, I mean, you could read on their website. So these are both by Murata. These are marketed women. I love all these bottles, y'all. I love all the Middle Eastern fragrances, fragrance companies, houses. Um, I think these are cool. This looks very 80s to me, maybe early 90s, 80s. This is just cute. It's a unique bottle with a cute little chain. I like the colors. So, oh, I didn't go over the prices, by the way, y'all. So, yeah, that first one was $14.99. And this one was $16.99. And this one was... $14.99. I love having these all sitting out with my other stuff and then I'll take the stickers off later. I just left them on for this video. And this one was only $12.99 and this one was $14.99. So the Murata fragrances. So this one, Zig by Murata, made in the UAE. These are all kind of the UAE, as I said. So I found two different lists of notes for this, which by the way, I was on one of the fragrance Facebook pages and other people said that they grabbed this immediately. And then other people said that they really liked it, but didn't grab it and was gonna go back and look to see if it was still there. And I really like this. This is very, um, this is sweet, fruity, floral, girly and when i say girly i mean even grown folks girly too not just young girl girly but very feminine uh, and flirty these both are this one's brighter this one's maybe a little sweeter they both had fruit and floral um very cute bottle i think so notes were a little different on two different sites if you find more accurate notes or different notes, please add them in comments or make any corrections in any of my videos that uh, you need to make. Just put it in the comments section. <clears throat> so the two different list of notes I found for this, um, first list says top notes of bergamot, strawberry, tangerine, middle notes of jasmine, rose, and base notes of ambergris, caramel, sandalwood, and vanilla. The other list says Top notes of mandarin, bergamot, and raspberry. Middle notes of jasmine, gardenia, and rose. And base notes of sandalwood, benzoin, caramel, 
vanilla, musk, and amber. At any rate, this one actually, this lasts longer than this, probably because it has more bass notes going on in it um, than this one does. So this, yeah, it's a sweet floral, sweet fruity floral. It's very sweetly flirty. I definitely get like sweet fruit and sweet florals. It's fruit and sweet florals. And I think probably the second list would be more accurate with the sandalwood, benzoin, caramel, um, vanilla, and musk and amber. But it's still got a little fizzy brightness to it too, I guess with the fruits. It's weird because the, the fruits are slightly different in these two lists. Um, but I could see this easily having a strawberry or raspberry type smell to it. I guess berry in general. And like an orangey fruit type smell mixed with it and mixed with that sweetness. I'm guessing the second list is accurate. So nice flirty, fruity part with a very sweet floral with a nice warm sweet and ambery vanilla, a little bit of musk, sandalwood um, base to it. I think that um, this is an attractive feminine fragrance and any woman could wear it, but I think that younger people would enjoy this too. Like that's what I said, when I said girly, I mean girly at, uh, when I say younger too, I don't mean like I don't mean like, well, I mean, I mean, you know what I mean. Young and middle-aged and older, whatever. I mean girly at all different ages, girly. And I just think it's really pretty. So I love that one. And it did, I could smell this. I sprayed this on one of my, um, my panda hat in my bedroom and I most definitely smelled it the next day. Now this one, the... Ferrato Pour Femme by Murata. Just very cute, cool bottle. This one was the one after I left and I was going to the gym and it was late at night. I ended, ended up spraying this all over me. Normally I wouldn't do that at the gym, but it was so late. Um, there was like hardly anyone in there, so I wasn't overwhelming anybody or on top of anybody with my fragrance. But this is very bright and flirty. Um, this one's brighter. They're both fruity, floral, girly, flirty, but this one's a little sweeter. And this one, although they both have sweetness, and this one is more probably bright. So, and that would be because of the notes. I mean, it's got that green apple in the top note. So this has got top note of orange, green apple, middle notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, and then it just says balsamic and then base note of amber, just as amber. Also, interestingly, when I was looking this one up, I just think this is really cute. I think all of these look good just sitting. Oh no, I'm gonna knock them all down. Um, when I look this one up, they also have a Verato Amber. Even though the base note of this is amber, they actually, this is Verato Pour Femme by Murata. They also have Verato Amber, and it looks like this, but it's like a um, more of like an orangey color instead of this, as I recall. So I just think that's cute. And oh, and I was going to show you too. So I showed you there was the milestone symbol on their fragrances, and this is the Murata symbol. They're similar, but two different companies, I guess. That's the Murata symbol on top of here. So yeah, this is fun. This has definitely got that orange and apple on top. This is a little more bright, more playful. It's kind of why I sprayed this one going into the gym. Almost like, almost reminds me of like a nice, bright, juicy lip gloss, but really, <laughs> really bright and noticeable smell to it. Yeah, the orange and apple is just really good. And then the 
the florals are just enough so that you know it's floral too it's not just fruity and of course that like that warmth underlying the warm sweet amber but mostly i love that pop in bright playful playful uh fruity sweet floral so that's my summary of these i like them all please subscribe right now <laughs> if you haven't already and please comment all of any input you have is appreciated by myself and i'm sure um, everyone else was looking to find out about these so i hope to read your comments soon and be back soon to speak with you again.